Hey guys, this is Joe Snell. Jordan hosts parliamentary elections despite a resurgence in the coronavirus. Iraq resumes closing displaced camps, and the move could leave tens of thousands homeless. And Iran releases hundreds of detainees that were involved in anti-government demonstrations. Let's catch you up on these headlines from around the Middle East. We begin in Jordan, where the country hosted parliamentary elections on Tuesday. Over 1,700 candidates urged citizens to vote. But there were calls for boycotts in what some say is a pointless assembly that has little power to make real change. The vote took place as Jordan wrestles with a worsening economic crisis, severe unemployment, and rampant poverty that has been aggravated by a surge in the coronavirus. Moving on to Iraq, where the country has resumed closing dozens of displacement camps. The timing of the closures is particularly unusual because it comes as the country is facing consistent security threats, a surge in the coronavirus, and a citizen's brace for harsh winter months. Aid groups warn these closures will likely create a dire situation that will leave many of these people homeless. Finally, in Iran, the regime has freed hundreds of detainees that were arrested for propaganda against the country as well as participating in anti-government demonstrations. The U.S. is expected to launch sanctions as early as next week against the regime that will coincide with the one-year anniversary of this brutal crackdown. Now hang on, before you go, we're not done yet. Here's a list of a few events coming up in the week ahead. On Saturday, Lebanon begins a two-week lockdown as the country faces a worsening coronavirus crisis. On Thursday, Bahrain's foreign minister will visit Israel. The trip will mark the first public visit by a Bahrain minister to the Jewish state. Also on Thursday, the UN Security Council will hear a briefing by the head of their Libyan mission. The briefing will discuss a renewed push for a political solution to the Libyan conflict. And that's your Middle East news for this week and some for next week. For more reading on the region, make sure to visit our website at www.al-monitor.com. Until next week, stay safe everyone. I'm Joe Snell.